I just want to say a big thank you to anybody who's bought the clutch arm but in this following video I'm going to show you how we actually fit the bush alright but there's one or two things you've got to know before you fit it and that is you've got to put a little bit of white lithium grease in heat in the in the ball and on the pivots here so a little little dob of white lithium grease and make sure they're nice and free and also I've supplied you with a new clip to go onto here just make sure that that's nicely lubricated again with white lithium grease unfortunately I can't supply it when I send things by airmail it's one of those things that's restricted so anyway let's get on with the video in this video I'm going to do something a little bit of an update on how to install your clutch bush. If you bought them in a little kit, mate, you might be wondering how you uh, you fit them. Now, the first thing we've got to do is knock out this little rivet here. Now you can do it in several different ways. You could drill it out, centre punch it, drill it out. It doesn't really matter. But don't damage the clip because we're going to use that again. So I prefer to use an air chisel and I'm going to try and knock that out in one fell swoop and what I usually do is I set my vise up like that and then I'll use the chisel so let's see how that goes so we're going to pick up the chisel force it in and and there she goes she's off now like I say, you can drill it, you can chisel it, you can do whichever way you want, but you've got to get it off and you don't want to damage the, the little uh, fork. It doesn't matter so much if the little tang gets broken, that doesn't matter, as long as it goes back in place. All right. So next, we've got to do some grinding. The next thing we're going to do is grind this down. And the reason we're going to do that is that this is kind of hard and it's, it's kind of difficult to get into, so we're going to make it a bit thinner and also because it will make it easier if you're using a, a one inch hole saw to cut that through all right so that's what we're going to do so remember you want your goggles on and you want your goggles on for all these jobs is find your grinder which is here and just grind that down a little bit now you want to grind it until the colors start to change If you can see there, you can see that the, it's, it's getting hot and it's getting thin and that's when you should stop because look, you, you're, you're, you're almost flush, you're just under flush there you, you see what I mean? So that's stopped The next thing is if you're going to use a hole saw when I can find it we've got, you, can, you can see the discoloration in here where the paint started to burn off that's going to make it so much easier for our drill to go through um, and, and cut that bush. Now I've designed the bushes so they're a little bit oversized, a little bit over than an inch because sometimes these can run, you can run off a little bit side to side it's not really crit mission critical because these arms are quite flexible in where they will move but we want them as central as possible inside that pivot there. So I'm going to drill it out now, go, go across the drill press and I'll show you the system I use but you can use a, dre a Dremel, a die grinder, whatever you want to do but you've got to make sure that this bush is not sloppy it's got to be a, a nice fit so let's go over to the drill press sometimes the drill bits on here are a little bit severe the, 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 for drilling so sometimes if you want you can actually use the, a, a regular drill and then do a pilot hole. Well, I like to put a little bit of WD-40 on them just to help them along the way and because it's in a dish the, the drill sort of self-centers so you don't you can't really go very you can't go very wrong And you can sort of get a feeling how hard that is because the drill, well, chuck was slipping, but never mind. 
So, move it across now. Now we've got our pilot hole. And we've got a bit of lubrication on there. There we go. And that's it through. So there's the hole, smack bang in the middle. That's what you want. Now we're going to just blow this off with a blow gun. Um, you know, put your glasses on again, and when, then we're going to fit the bush. So again, I'm going to do this the way I do them, but you can do it any way you want. You can file them out. You can use a Dremel. It doesn't really matter as long as you get the hole that's in the middle. And as I said to you before, the hole is, you know, the, the hole that I use for a, a one inch hole saw is slightly undersized than the bush. So, you, so you've got a little bit of wiggle room because you want that dead centre. Now, fortunately, that's dead centre because I've done more than one or two. But what I'm going to use, just to speed things along, is a die grinder. Now, you, these are really cheap, but, you know, you can pick one of these up really cheap or you can borrow one. But this is how I do it. Now, the thing is, you want that bush to be a reasonable fit. You don't want it too sloggery. But even if it is a bit sloggery, I, I'll show you later what I do. I put a couple of little tacks of weld in there just to be sure that when you fit this, it's going to be nice and square. So let's grind it out. Check it. Not quite. Check it. Not quite. This might take a little while. Get in there. Look at that. That's what you want. That is a nice fit in there. So, the next thing is that we're going to take this out and we're going to use a die grinder again because it's a bit I forgot. And I weld these in. I, I like to put a little tack of weld on. So I'm just going to grind a bit of paint off. <coughs> bit tricky to do on camera but... So that's where I'm going to weld. Just in there, so we've got a bit of a, you know, knock off the paint a little bit sort of thing. And then, uh, we're just about ready for reassembly. Let's weld it. This only needs a couple of tacks of weld. And I usually do them in this bottom corner. There we go, that's that tack welded in. And now the idea is to let it cool. The final stage, you could actually paint it if you want, it doesn't really matter, is to fit your bush in. Never fit the bush in and then weld it, always fit the bush last. And then in the, new, in the old system I used to use a solid rivet but now I'm supplying uh, a pop rivet now I'm going to use an air pop rivet to do this because I do do so many. Centralize up your uh, centralize up your fork, your spring, and that's done. Now that's a steel pop rivet, 
and that's what you're looking for that nice spring it's pushing against there so that's going to hold nice and tight and that's it that's all you have to do it's very very simple it is time consuming but it's not too difficult so I hope you enjoyed that follow these instructions and if you get stuck email me or send me a message in the comment below alright we'll talk to you later